Hi, I'm Tim Griffin. I teach elementary school in Los Angeles, and I write educational music for kids. Here's a song for you. Now you know that the federal government spends a whole lot of money on national defense and agriculture, education, and all kinds of projects all over the nation. Putting up rockets and picking up trash, but do you ever think about where we get the cash to pay for all those wonderful things that life in a modern democracy brings? Of course, it's the taxes that we all pay, but you know sometimes I'm sorry to say that as good as we are at bringing it in, we're a whole lot better at spending. You can talk about it with your dad or your mama, maybe write a letter to Barack Obama. Ride to D.C. on a horse or a llama Ask your senators what they're gonna do about the debt Getting out of control, you put the next generation in a great big hole Or maybe make a plan, set a goal to pay that national debt Now if you're collecting five dollars a day, but you're spending six You know there ain't no way you're gonna keep that up You could spend less, but there's three other ways that you can fix that mess It's alright, I'm an economist First thing you could do is raise the taxes, but you can imagine how popular that is. Pay for our government services? No way! Second choice would be to print more money, but that makes the prices of things to a funny thing called inflation, which is why penny candy costs a quarter today. There's one more choice that the government has, that's to borrow the money. Just as a guy with a credit card can buy stuff and not pay it off at the end of the month. Borrowing will work pretty well for a while Cause the voters are happy and the senators smile But while they're smiling, the debt keeps piling up and up You can talk about it with your dad or your mama Maybe write a letter to Barack Obama or Ride to D.C. on a horse or a llama Ask your senators what they're gonna do About the debt getting out of control Put the next generation in a great big hole Or make a plan, set a goal to pay that national debt now it's hard to understand 15 trillion Cause 15 million times a million Makes a number so big it makes people wanna plug their ears Now to fully understand it might require that you Set a hundred dollar bill on fire Then do that again Once every second for the next 4,000 years Or you could think about the debt like you're digging a hole You dig an inch for every 20,000 bucks we owe You dig straight through the planet and a ride out the other side so if you wonder why some folks are getting sore, it's cause the debt's so big it's getting hard to ignore. So what you gonna do to stem that rising tide? Huh? You can talk about it with your dad or your mama, maybe write a letter to Barack Obama. Ride to D.C. on a horse or a llama, ask your senators what they're gonna do about the debt getting out of control. Put the next generation in a great big hole or make a plan, set a goal to pay that national debt. Put the next generation in a great big hole or pay the national debt. Thank you.